Lecture. The best lecture is one that you prepare yourself. Out of documentaries, internet videos, audiobooks, infographics, and visualizations. Sometimes you get some hands-on experience, like a Raspberry Pi kit with a breadboard and a bunch of sensors to learn Unix and soldering, for example. Other times, it turns out that all your materials fit in a backpack or a daypack. So you add a loaf of bread, some trail mix and water, and you are off. Studying astrophysics with all the greats as you hike to your campsite. Where upon your arrival, you set up camp on top of an ancient dune and wait for the stars to come out. It is important to note that falling asleep during your own lecture is amazing. When you wake up, the audiobook will still be playing, and Carl, Neil, Seth, or Alex will surely be describing something awesome. Rather than returning to the spot where you fell asleep, it is always just better to get to the end and keep re-listening the whole thing until you can remember everything and actually need a new audiobook. Your own lectures are much more authentic than anything that a professor can regurgitate out. Real lectures don't end after 12 classes. They last a lifetime. And when you return to the same books, it is such a pleasure. The best advice I could give on the subject of lectures is described with a single word. Adventure. Even if you are getting into circuit design or electronics, all you need to do is get some solar-powered gear and a butane soldering iron. Then wire up a solar-powered wireless network in a weatherproof enclosure out in the deepest part of the woods and name it the facility. <laughs> and then reply to all the HTTP requests with a nice and creative login page. What better way to learn Unix than to have outrageous fun with it? Might as well learn a programming language while you're at it. How about creating a simple mod with some snappy and convincing bots? Ballerina Dentata entered the chat and started following you. It should be a rule that we take our education onto the nature trails or places that challenge us, even if all they challenge us with is fun and useless foolishness. It won't take long before adventures become expeditions. Detecting supernovae from some mountain peak, tracking melting glaciers and climate data, or even reliably counting lightning bugs. In school, we tend to wait for lectures to come to a resolution. But in real life, a lecture is allowed to become its true self. It becomes a breathtaking gateway to explore and conquer the unknown.